So I've already done a video with my Scott Genius running the different size wheels. So this bike is designed to run either 29 or 27. And I put it to the test with times, but also to see just how different the bike felt. But today it's time for something different. It's something I've only seen on e-bikes so far. I'm gonna try it with the 29er up front and the 27.5 plus on the rear. Uh, and put it to the test, see if it's worth doing. And if you can do it, does it mean that you should do it? So I've been running this bike now for a couple of months with the 29er wheels and it's been riding great to be honest but I've swapped out the rear now for the smaller wheel so it's 27.5 and I've got like 2.6 inch tyre so it's not only wide but it's deep as well. People are starting to shy away from calling them plus a little bit nowadays but it's definitely wider than your average tyre. Up front I've got that 2.4 so it's, a, it's narrower but it's also less tall so it's going to feel a little bit different. Also on this bike, you've got that flip chip, which I've actually left in the low position for now. So the bike has slackened out quite a lot. Uh, I'm gonna ride it like this first, and then I'll flip it over to the high. So that will equal the bike out a little bit, almost like I'm running 29s front and rear again. But I'll try it in both, see how it feels. So I've seen people DIY this to their e-bikes. Obviously you've got plus size tires on those bikes, so it's, you've got space to chuck a bigger wheel in the front and it should work. Can you now release their Spectral on e-bike with this setup from standard? Uh, but does it make a little bit more sense on an e-bike where you've got all that power going through that rear wheel to have that bigger tire, you get a bit more drive on the floor. Is it gonna work on an bike? I don't know yet. Uh, how do you think it looks? Let me know in the comments down below. At the moment, Jerry's out for me. I think it looks a little bit weird. I'm definitely not used to seeing a bike look like this, but I'll take it for a ride, see how it works. First impressions, it's wet, uh, very wet. Oh, you mean the bike. Um, well, it feels slack, you know, you just sit on a bike and I can see the fork like going away from me. So it does feel super slack. I mean, all I've really done is just reduce the size of the rear wheel. So that is gonna drop everything as well. So BB is quite low. Um, I'm gonna do a video on GMBN Tech, which will be coming out the same day as this video. So I'll go into the stats, the numbers, the figures, all that stuff in that video. This one is all about feel really, and it does feel slack. I think the BB is so low, it might cause me some issues when it comes to pedaling through uh, rough stuff with stumps and things. I've got to be careful of smacking my pedals into the floor. But for now, I've just pedaled up the climb and down these few jumps. It feels all right. It definitely feels a little bit different. It almost feels like I've got a really soft rear tire just because when I'm riding over the little bumps, I don't feel it quite so much through my feet. Whereas I can feel the front tire a bit more through my wrists, but yeah, keen to crack on, see how it goes. Well, it's so wet, I feel just like Danny Hart at Champery. Uh, and just like Danny, I do struggle a little bit with dragging my bum in the rear tire. Danny's a bit shorter than me, so I bet he does it a bit more often. And I said that about this section of track, actually, when I rode it last time with the bigger wheels, I do drag my bum a little bit when I'm trying to squash over things. Of course, with a smaller rear wheel, I'm not gonna get that. So that's one advantage of running this setup. Um, I do feel like it's too slack though. So what I'm gonna do is flip that chip the other way around raise up the BB a little bit, make it a little bit steeper on the head angle. I think that's going to balance the bike out a little bit and I won't risk whacking my feet on any roots or rocks or anything. So I don't know exactly what that's done to the angles of the bike, but it feels much more balanced now, bringing it back up. Uh, Doddy has lent me his digital angle finder thing. It's probably got a much better name than that, but I'm gonna use that in the tech video that I'm gonna do very shortly to tell you just exactly what that has done to the bike. But sitting on the bike, I think it feels better. So time to give it another ride. Right, so I am scratching my head about this little mod, to be honest. I can see the bike's really versatile. I've talked about it in the other videos. We can run either 27.5 or 29. What about mixing the two up? I really don't feel as much a difference as I thought I would, to be honest. 
The rear tire does soak up some of those little bumps. It feels a little bit sort of softer on the back. But one of the biggest disadvantages for me, and I talk about in this other video as well, is with the wider tyres, they just float a little bit. Now today it's wet, but it's actually not really that muddy. The tyres are digging through, but I just think the back tyre is always going to perform differently to the front. Even if you put two of the same sort of tread compound tyres on, like a baron on the back, a baron on the front, they're still going to perform completely differently. So for me, I don't think it's a, enough of an advantage to run the smaller rear tyre. Maybe if you ride something up somewhere that's really rough, really chattery, it might help to have that bigger wheel on the front just to reduce some of that sort of feedback through the wrists and the deeper rear tyre on the back to sort of soften those blows a little bit. But for me, I think I'd choose just either 27.5 or 29 front and rear and not mix the two. If we're talking about racing, the UCI also say that you can't run different size wheels. You have to pick one size for front and rear. However, I don't think you're going to ride this bike in a UCI style event. You're not going to race it in a downhill event. Uh, it's not going to be a cross country bike, so it's more suited to enduro. And EWS isn't UCI affiliated, so it's not going to affect you for that if you wanted to run different size wheels. So I'm not sure this mod's for me, but I definitely think I'm going to try it again. Uh, possibly in summertime where it's a bit drier, I can really put some back to back runs with the uh, different size wheels and actually maybe put some times in a while, see how it affects it. If you want to see the tech video that is coming soon there'll be much more detail about how this does affect the bike and if you want to see the original video where i race the 29 versus 27.5 on this bike just click up there for that one i'd love to hear what you think about this so leave your comments down below give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe